everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I'm just giving you guys a nice little vlog, a little update about PAX Prime 2014. I'm going to give you guys a recap from day one to day three. It is now day four, and I'll give you guys my schedule for the day. So day one was a very busy day because I booked so many appointments to go to so many different booths to try out new games, uh, try out new vendors, uh, look at some of the new sponsorships that's out there, um, as well as hitting up some of my sponsors that I'm currently with, um, you know, talking about influencer programs and everything like that. Um, also, I met up with Ronnie 2K. We were at the 2K booth. Um, met up with John Ema as well at the 2K booth. And uh, I met a nice lady named Ashley at the 2K booth as well. Um, I played Evolve. I played Borderlands. I played uh, Intergalactic Marines, I think it's called. No, Interstellar Marines over at the Alienware booth. Um, that's like PC gaming only, but you can get a controller if you want. Um, what else did I do? Uh, it's all on my calendar. Uh, met up with games. Um, also met up with uh, Twitch, Intel. Um, I think I went to the Bethesda booth as well. Met up with MSI. Uh, who else? And I think I went to the indie booth for um, something as well. But, you know, I, I was just, I was very busy. Um, and after day one was over, it was over at like 6 p.m., um, I ended up going to the Twitch party. Um, I went with a few friends, um, people that I just met, as well as people that I met from uh, recent events. And at this garage bar, I think it's called, um, we had karaoke night. We had a great night up until um, I got robbed. Um, I didn't get robbed at like gunpoint or knife point or anything like that. Somebody actually stole my bag while it was sitting down. Like the only time that I put my bag down the entire time I was at the party that's when somebody swiped it. I got up um, to actually sing karaoke. I'm not the best singer, and I'm not a rapper. But uh, I did that, and, you know, somebody got me. So, you know, I was running all through the crowd, looking outside, seeing who stole it, and we couldn't find nobody. So I had to file a police report. Uh, they stole my Beat by Dre wireless headphones, some of my jewelry, uh, most of my charging equipment, as well as um, my all my gunner glasses that I took with me on the trip, including the new pair that I had got from the booth. And um, after that, you know, filed a police report. I stayed with my homie Barry. Um, he's a news uh, media person for, uh, you know, all the different types of events that they go to and everything like that. So, you know, shout out to him. Uh, you know, he helped me throughout everything, you know, chasing down people who had astro bags and, you know, let me stay uh, at his hotel room for the night, you know what I'm saying, until I could go back to the airport to get a new rental because they stole the keys to the rental that I, that I had. So, you know, I had a whole bunch of stuff I had to do. Now, uh, day two, I woke up at six in the morning. Um, I went all the way to the airport to get a new rental. Um, after I got back, I went all the way back to my hotel, which is 40 minutes from the event. Shout out to my girl for booking like one of the worst trips ever. I love you. Um, but you know, we, I did that, came all the way back to PAX, met up with Ronnie again, hung around the 2K booth again. And then this time, uh, I just was like going around playing new games, went to the, uh, Nintendo joint. I, you know, I was just being a fan, you know, went to the Gunner booth and everything like that. Gunners, they were doing like giveaways at 4 PM every day. They always had something new, like their booth, like literally if this is the line right here, they had a crowd going all the way to the other side of the hallway. So there was like a fire hazard type thing going on. Like it was, it was insane, but, uh, they did that every day. Um, and Day two, uh, as it goes for parties, mm. I went to the Alienware party. The Alienware party was actually probably the best party all weekend to me. Um, they had free turkey legs. Like, if you want to see all the pics and stuff from the Alienware party, you can go on my Instagram. It's Instagram.com slash Carter. They had turkey legs, ice cream, uh, drinks, VIP. It was, it, was, it was insane. They had games that you could play. They had uh, the little photo booth thing. It, it was insane, you know, um... Also, all the employees at Alienware, stand-up people. Like, they, they weren't raunchy or nothing like that. Like, we all had a good time. Um, after I got done at the Alienware party, I heard that Bethesda was having a party, but I heard that it was, like, one of those horrific-type parties. I was like, nah, I'm good. So I drove back to my hotel, got some sleep. Um, day three, I woke up, and I received an email from someone at the Lost and Found at PAX. Now... When, you know, you receive an email, you're like, lost and found, book bag, what? So, come to find out, 
the person that stole my book bag from the Twitch party, which was li- literally across town, they either dumped it somewhere or took it back to the lost and found to troll me. And the only thing that was in my astro bag, which in fact, I don't know why they didn't take the whole bag itself, but uh, my business cards were in the bag. Um, a couple like Twitch shirts and stuff like that, like a little bit of the swag that I received that day was still in the bag. And thankfully, my work badge, which was probably the most important thing, um, my work badge is really valued at $100. And if you lose it three times, you're fired. So, you know, even though it would have been my first time losing my badge, it probably would have been a hit to my ego. So, you know, I got my badge back. So now I could fly back home for free and everything like that. So everything's good on that note. Um, and for day three, uh, I hung out with uh, uh, Pravi and Stan a little bit. Um, from day one, we did go on a lunch date, uh, me, and, me, Stan, and Pravi. Uh, we ate at this nice little seafood joint the first day. It was, it was pretty good. Um, had some uh, razor, clam chowder, and, like, some oyster shots. Like, it was insane. Uh, but, uh, yeah, day three, I hung out with Pravi, hung out with Ronnie. I hung out with Raphael from from the games booth. Um, if you guys don't know what games is, it's that uh, that big case that I have with the monitor that I put my PlayStation Four in that I'm always gaming on. That's uh that's games right there. Uh, also, a little bit of day three, uh, I went and hung out with Shay from EA. Um, we played Halo. We went to go see a little Halo match. We also went to go eat clam chowder at this uh Pike place or something like that. It's like their mall. And it was like a bread bowl with sourdough. Um, and I don't think my stomach agreed with me on that because when I got back to PAX, um, you know, we, we parted ways. I got back to PAX, met up with Pravi, and we were going to, like, walk around. Um, and I, I literally threw up all the, like, my whole entire lunch. And I didn't even drink, like, you know, because I had to travel 40 minutes back and forth from hotel to uh, the event. So drinking really wasn't in my, you know, plans this weekend. So, you know, I, I didn't understand what was wrong with me. You know, I just, my mouth started watering. I'm like, what's going on? I grabbed my stomach. Next thing you know, I walked to the bathroom. Literally, by the time I got to the door, there's a trash can and there's about 15 more steps to a stall. You know what I did? I made the smart decision and I hurled in the trash can. Um, after I got done that, um, me and Pravi walked over to where me and Shay had walked to the little Halo tournament that they had at the uh, Paramount Theater. We watched that for a little bit. I kind of fell asleep. Not saying I'm not a Halo fan. It's just, you know, maybe playing the game is a little bit better than watching. Um, after that, uh, Pravi met up with her friend and I had to go do some other stuff. So we like went back to PAX and parted ways. I went back to the 2K booth. Got some more swag. I'm, I've am i been giving out, like, Evolve codes for, like, yesterday, and I'm going to be giving out some today. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm going to be giving out giveaways via Twitter. Um, what else? Day three, I didn't go to any parties last night. Uh, as soon as PAX was over, I got in my car. I saw, like, you know, PAX parties, the Twitter feed and all that. And some of the parties just weren't, you know, as popping or they weren't by a company that was going to throw like an extravagant crazy party so i just was like nah i'm good so came back to the hotel went to sleep and now it's day four um i'm on my way to pax now what am i going to be doing today uh i got to meet up with uh somebody at uh the wb uh Warner brothers booth uh she's going to be there until five so probably going to meet up with her take a couple pictures at 1 p.m i got to go to the machinima booth and do like uh autograph signing and pictures with fans so you know if you're at pax prime you know you want to take a picture with me or you want me to sign something you know just come to the machinima booth at one i'll be there i'm probably going to be at the machinima booth from 12 to 2. Yeah, I'll be there for a full two hours. Why not? Um, after I get done at the Machinima booth, though, I'm going to go play some more Evolve. I'm going to go to the Astro booth and play more Halo. Oh, speaking of Astro, um, hung out with Cole and uh, Enrique. His twin brother is funny as hell. Um, but after that, I'm going to play some Halo. And what else is there? Oh, I'm um, while I'm at the Machinima booth, they have the only booth, I think, that has NBA 2K14. NBA 2K15 and NBA Live 15 are not at... Uh, PAX at all. Um, EA is not even at PAX, period. EA, they don't even have a booth. So um, what else will I play? I'll play the crew for sure. I'm definitely going to play the crew. 
Um, if you don't know what the crew is, it's a it's a racing game as well as I'm gonna be playing Drive Club too. Um, the only reason I'm gonna be playing a crew in Drive Club, and you guys are probably like, why are you playing two car racing games? Because they have the uh simulator where you can sit in the car and car seat and uh drive like it's a regular car. So that's why I'm gonna be in both of those. I'm gonna go back to the Alienware booth, play a little bit of the Alien uh, Alpha joint that they have. Um, and I'll probably go back down to the uh. PC uh, landing strip type joint, where it's like all PC gaming and Left 4 Dead 2 on the PC is amazing. Like trying to get the controls right with like moving forward and all that, shooting with your mouse is crazy, man. PC gamers, they need a lot more credit for sure. Um, what else? And after I get done uh, with my packs today, if there's any parties that are like dope, I'll go there for probably about an hour, hour and a half because I have to go back to the airport to try to catch like a 10 15 flight home. And Tuesday, I'll be home, so more videos to come, such as Madden, 2K, all of that. You know, I don't have any recording equipment here with me besides my camera, my mic, and you guys. So, uh, this is IKC signing out. Um, hope you guys like the recap. Um, what else? Anything else? Nope. Peace, y'all. Yep. Yeah. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC click subscribe. Oh and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.